Hi, Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're going to look at what we call unilateral PAs or UPAs in the Maitland world. What we're going to do is do a unilateral PA on the articular pillar. So how do we find that? We find, let's say here's C2 spinous process, the first one we can find. Then we can work our way down. Three, four, and five are so deep we're not going to really feel it. Five you'll start to feel. But if I go from the spinous process and I go more lateral, I take semispinalis and I kind of I move it out of the way and I can get onto the articular pillar. And Antonio will know what I'm there, which is there. Yeah. We talk about mountains and valleys. So the top of it, the mountain part is the is the part is the articular pillar itself. The valley is the joint. And if you as you keep playing, what you'll feel it as Antonio feels off, oh, yeah. on and off the mountain. So for the technique wise, my fingers go there. My other hand, my hands go around, kind of grab an SCM. And I'm not just doing this, but I'm actually grabbing it both segments and I'm pushing it down, take up the slack, and I can go further, further, further. So I start hitting resistance. I can do my glides in that position. If I want to get a little bit more specific and a little bit more detailed, I could do a unilateral PA and I could add a little bit of a side bend or a side glide looks like to it. So as I push through there, you'll feel it get a little bit stiffer. So it's a nice way to kind of get more specific to that joint. If it's painful, we can do what we call ones and twos, very light, threes and fours. And if you're really trying to gain range of motion, we call it four plus plus. So we go to the end, take up that slack, further, 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 feel it, that springiness, and get to its end. You all right? Mm -hmm. And I can play with the angle. And that's the key for a good unilateral PA. You start playing with the angle of the joint. Don't just do a PA, but play with it. Do a bias, medial bias, lateral bias, and see what gives you the best response. When you're done with that, you'll obviously have them get up and retest. We always do test, retest. That's it. It's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.